Hi, I'm Christine Cheever, and welcome to our second season of the All Friends Cabaret, a variety show that connects you with your community. And as always, I encourage you to be a part of it, whether you sing, dance, or act, or are raising money for that special organization. At the end of the program, I'll show you the contact information to get in touch with me to become a part of the All Friends Cabaret. Well, we have a real sweet treat tonight. Uh, the entire show will be um, with the band Sweet Escape, and we're going to start with the band leader, the, the lead singer, Cindy Palant. Nice to have you on. Thank you. Nice Welcome to, to the program. Thank so you. tell me, the, the band is Sweet Escape. How long have you been uh, together as a group? Uh, actually, only about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. It uh, started um, from a neighbor. Okay. Um, now, I understand you, you all didn't know each other. There were four members, mm -hmm. and you didn't know each other. Mm -mm. And how did, how did that all work out? Um, I was uh, taking guitar lessons, um, and a neighbor of mine who was taking guitar lessons from um, our guitarist, Mark, said, you should go down and meet Mark. Okay. So I ended up, uh, he was insisting that I kept, you know, kept insisting that I go, and I kept putting it off because I had my guitar teacher, and he okay. said he felt compelled to bring me there, and he brought me down, mm -hmm. and uh, immediately we became friends, and they invited me in to sing some songs and because see how we made they it. were They already were already a band for years, well, five years. Okay. And they had an album out before I even came into the band. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you meet, and you decide, okay, did you sing for them? Right away, did you? How did you get involved? Because was it a guitar lesson you're saying? I actually wasn't sure what I was going to do because I knew I had been working on music of my own, mm -hmm. and I just knew I needed help. And, okay. Um, so they were looking for something. I was looking for something, and it just kind of worked out. Okay. So now you have written songs together. Mm -hmm. You write songs. You've produced an album. How many albums have you? Just one. We okay. just released it. Okay, that's last awesome. Month. Mm -hmm. So tell me what goes into the process of. A, deciding, okay, we're going to write some songs and put it together. Do all four of you have songs that you just throw into the mix? Or how do, how's the collaboration yeah, work? Yeah, basically everyone brings in a little bit of their own mix, um, and we kind of put it together. You know, I, I write the lyrics mm -hmm. for the most part, but we all put in our own music and um, just get a feel for from each other what we would... Um, add to the song okay and then go over you know organizing it and putting it together and, and when does the music part come into it is it mu get music then lyrics or how, how does that work it depends because uh it depends on the song sometimes i'll come up with words and i'll say you know what can we put with this sometimes mark will drop a, a cd with music in my mailbox and okay. say what do you what can you make out of this does so. anyone call you in the middle of the night <laughs> haven't gotten that yet no no <laughs> so you so you put the songs together, and mm -hmm. what kind of music? Tell me what's what's your forte. The, uh, the, band. the genre is um, genre. it's alternative for okay. the most part. Um, mm -hmm. It's alternative soft rock, I would say. But we've gotten a little bit more um, into a little bit heavier rock. But we also do some of the ballads, some of the power ballads. And okay, and where where did you record the CD? Um, at um, Bowman Studio. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you got together, and how long does the recording take? Oh, God. It depends. Sometimes we can do a song in one take. Yeah. Sometimes we can take hours and hours and then say, okay, this isn't working and move on to the next song. And is it a certain order where you follow? I, I suppose it's just a process where is there order to it, to putting the album together? You have to get the drums perfect first. Okay. That's all we know. <laughs> okay. And then we can kind of add tracks as we go. And, um, and basically... It's it's just a lot of time and energy, but it's a lot of fun, and we yeah. because we're friends, it makes such a big deal, like so much better. Right. In reading about you, I, I see a lot of that in mm -hmm. in the writing of how you guys really collaborate well together mm -hmm. because you are friends. And tell me how you got the name of the band. Well, basically, um, I'm a mom of two little ones, mm -hmm. and going to the studio every week to practice was my escape. So I found that the, the <laughs> pattern in a lot of our songs was um, about escaping from reality, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which originally was going to be the name of the album. And just, just. Um, escape from reality. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And um, we wanted to have Escape as our name, but there was a Journey cover band that already had it. Okay. So we ended up, um, which is great. Okay. And, um, but then we decided that uh, it was such a sweet escape to get to go and be together and, and right. write. And so, yeah, just, when you think sometimes of escaping like vacation or whatever, it's sweet. So that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so now you're, um, so what instruments do you play? I play the guitar. Okay. And I'm a little bit on the piano. I'm just. Okay. And then the other band members, so it's mostly guitar, 
drums mm -hmm. and bass. Okay. And we have um, we have some percussion, obviously, when we do acoustic stuff, uh, tambourine, things like that. A little bit of the piano. We just okay. um, interviewed a saxophone player for some stuff. So oh, that's get a little good. saxophone into the so next album. So how often do you now practice? Every week, at you least do. once a week. Yeah. Okay, for a couple hours yeah. or usually about four hours. Okay, so now you have um, the album, and now it's not only you created something wonderful, what is it about getting out there and performing? Because there's another side of that too that your band there does, is. right? You're here tonight, mm -hmm. and you, you perform at a lot of places. How is the process of putting that together and uh, getting yourself out there? Basically just bringing our CDs or bringing or making phone calls, having connections, people we know, mm -hmm. um, you know, letting them hear our music and say, do you have an opening for a spot? And they book us in mm -hmm. for gigs all over North Shore, you know, and now yeah. we're kind of branching into Boston. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome, because you guys are based out of the North Shore? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. And so now let me get to your background. Okay. You've always been a singer, always played guitar? No. Okay, <laughs> tell me about that. Well, I've been a singer since I was old enough to hold a microphone in church choir and mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I never really took lessons. And then um, I decided I was always going to karaoke all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I found out there's this like wonderful thing called open mic night. So right. I said, wow, people get up there and just mm -hmm. sing and play whatever they want. But I didn't have an instrument. So I decided to take um, guitar lessons online for just at home. And then oh, I awesome. just decided to go out and then said, well, I'll, I'll just write some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it kind of started. And that's how uh, how things start. Sometimes you just fall into yeah. one thing and it kind of makes you the lead singer of a band. Yeah. Hey, who, who yeah. knew, right? Yeah. And so this show is all about encouraging our community members to come on mm -hmm. uh, because we all have a dream. We all we have do. our day-to-day -day lives that keep us busy and active. You have two small kids. I mm -hmm. have two small kids, yet we need creativity. What would you tell someone who has a dream uh, to inspire them? I would just say it's just definitely never too late to start to do anything you mm -hmm. want to do no matter how old you are because mm -hmm. I mean, no matter how old you are now, you're always the oldest, you're the oldest you've ever been, but you have so many more years ahead. Right. And every year is so precious, you know. Right. So it's just, just do it now. Why wait? And, and kind of look into what you want to do. Yeah, because what's right for one isn't necessarily right for everyone, but if you find your niche, mm -hmm. it, it really, you know, with, with some, you know, hard work and passion, I think you really can pull anything off that you want to do. Oh, that's great. That's great. So now we get to listen to your wonderful voice and the band mm -hmm. and the great music. So I'm going to let you set up Thank over you. there okay. and um, go okay. on over. So as you see, things, um, I'm going to let Cindy set up. As you see that as you um, get your creativity and any creativity that you have, can kind of morph into something wonderful that you uh, that's passionate and fun for you to do. So now I introduce to you Sweet Escape.
Right, right. Come right. On. Let me uh, come on in here, and why don't you introduce me to the band, Cindy? I'll, I'll let you do that. All right. Well, here we have Sean Bowman on bass, mm -hmm. and we have Mark Bowman on guitar. They're okay. actually father and son. Oh, and yes. Steve Duggan on drums. All right. Great. So how is it the father-son, how long have you guys been playing together? Well, he taught me how to play guitar right. when I was eight. Okay. So I've been playing, we've been playing forever, so. Okay, and it's always yeah. been this this sort of music? It has. Yeah. Okay. It has. And then Steve came in. Mm -hmm. um, Steve and I became friends at work, mm -hmm. and I invited him to the house, and we started a little band. All right. And that was six years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome from that. Right. And Steve, now Steve, who we call Steve-O in, in my house because we're good friends, uh, he's a good friend of my husband. Good old Steve-O. How long have you been playing the drums? Drums. It's been a hidden talent. We never knew you had. Since uh, 1986, I worked all summer going into my senior year of high school, and mm -hmm. I bought a drum set, mm -hmm. uh, much to the uh, chagrin of my parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was allowed to play on Sundays. After, after church. church. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I started with a few uh, friends, and I was the first band I was in my late teens. Mm -hmm. and No, it's great. It's great. That's that's awesome. So I'm going to have you guys do another number for us. Why don't right. you explain uh, n the name of the song and what it's about? Okay. Um, we have to switch. We're do oh, wonder. do a switch. No, we're going to do, do one. We're going to do one. Sure. Wonder. Wonder. Guess we'll stay away, all right? And and wonder is what what inspired um, that song. This song is just about um, just the typical misconception in men and women in relationships and not knowing what the man is thinking and not basically not communicating okay. um, effectively. All right. So well, let's hear it. Mm. Go ahead. Sweet escape. Mm. 